Hello Royalty, good morning and welcome to our Touch Point today. My name is God Gift Austin, your regular host and anchor to this channel. Like we used to do it, we pick our topics, we deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas of concerns raised and how to respond accordingly. In so doing, those questions have lingered over the years in our hearts and sometimes seem to have defied answers are being tackled. I am rest assured that your own questions have been taken care of in this platform. All you just need to do is to follow us and subscribe to our YouTube channel when necessary. You know, click on your notification button, go through the memory lane, over 400 clips already uploaded here. Before you finish going through them, you discover how much the Lord has dealt in your own issue. So remember to share your testimonies with the comment section. And make sure you share these messages and let them go viral. If the whole world is our target, God bless you. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for yesterday, today, and forevermore. Thank you for what you have begun to do in our lives. And we trust you, Lord, that today will not be exceptional. Bless us like never before. Open our hearts and reveal your word in our heart, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved, we are talking about aging and old age. And the question that we are still dealing on is, what are some responsibilities to the younger generation? And yesterday we looked at uh, our responsibility to initiate Christ becomes even greater as we model Christ-likeness to the next generation. Praise the Lord. So let's look at some of the passages today. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 12, I am so glad that you always keep me in your thoughts and that you are following the teachings I passed on to you. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 15, With all these things in mind, dear brothers and sisters, stand firm and keep a strong grip on the teaching we possess or I will pass on to you both in person and by letter. In the same second Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 6, And now, dear brothers and sisters, we give you this command in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Stay away from all believers who live idle lives and don't follow the tradition they received from us. And don't follow the tradition they received from us. Where? What is he saying? Stay away from all believers who live idle lives, who do not follow the tradition they receive from us. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3 to 4, for a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teachings. They will follow their own desire and will look for teachers who will tell them whatever their itching ears want to hear. They will reject the truth and chase after might. In Luke chapter 22, verse 19, he took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it in pieces and gave it to the disciples, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In Titus chapter 1, verse 9, he must have a strong belief in the trustworthy message he was taught, then he will be able to encourage others with wholesome teaching and show those who oppose it where they are wrong. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 9, God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. In Mark chapter 7, verse 9, where I will stop, then he said, You skillfully. Uh, sidestep God's law in order to hold on to your own traditions. The next time we meet, I will put an explanation to these things that we have read them before the next question that we're going to be talking about. But for now, I want to ask a question. Are there people that really want to say, Lord, I want to submit myself to your will. I'm tired of this way I've been living. I want us to pray together and say, Lord Jesus, have mercy on my soul. Save my life from eternal hell and damnation. I want to know you henceforth. Wash me by your blood. 
Write my name in the book of life. Delete it from the book of death. Satan will draw your filthy hands out of my life. You did not make me. You cannot keep me. My life belongs to Jesus and I have returned back to him. Thank you for saving my soul. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have prayed this prayer with me this morning, congratulations. And I encourage you to keep fixing your gaze in this world and this foolish on this king's table. The Lord has prepared them to equip you. And you will never miss it, nor get it wrong fellowshipping with us. God bless you to my listeners all over the world. The hand of God is upon you, and the Lord is your sure refuge in time of trouble. No matter the challenges you are going through, the Lord will secure you, will fight for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Go and celebrate. God bless you.